The European Political Community Summit is a forum established last year following Russia's invasion of Ukraine to foster cooperation among more than 40 countries from Norway to Albania. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen commented on support for Ukraine from the United States. She also said that the European Union would double its humanitarian support for Armenia. Um, here in the European Union we're working on a package of 50 billion euros for Ukraine for the years 24 to 27. This is very important because Ukraine needs predictability and reliability in the direct budget support. Um, as far as I oversee the situation in the United States, I'm very confident um, of support for Ukraine from the United States. Uh, what the United States is working on is the timing. I will meet the Prime Minister of Armenia um, in a bilateral here. We strongly support Armenia um, and uh, support it in its humanitarian needs. We have already allocated 5.2 million euros. I will tell the Prime Minister today that I'm happy that we double this amount to 10.4 million euros and that we are providing 15 million euros of direct budget support under the country's annual program. And we will discuss what else we can do to support um, Armenia in this difficult situation. Also present at the summit, the President of the European Council, Charles Michel, mentioned a recent telephone call with President Joe Biden regarding continued support for Ukraine. We had a few days ago a very important phone call with the President Joe Biden, a very important moment because uh, he, he will shirt us and uh, we, we feel uh, his personal leadership, his personal commitment to make sure that uh, the United States will, uh, will, will support Ukraine in the long run, will help Ukraine in the long run and we work very closely together. Ukrainian President Zelensky, who also arrived in the Spanish city of Granada for the summit, expressed his thoughts on United States support to Ukraine. With the United States, I've been in Washington this year and uh, I had meeting with President Biden and I had and uh, heard uh, his 100 percent support in the White House and also support by, by, by bipartisan support in, in Congress. I think it's, it's important, important of, of, of course, of course, uh, difficult uh, election period for, for, the, for the United States, different voices, some of the voices are very strange. About this also we will, we will speak about this but, uh, today. The Granada gathering gives leaders such as French President Emmanuel Macron, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz and British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak a chance to restate their commitment to Ukraine after political turbulence in both the United States and Europe raised questions about continued support. Ireland's Prime Minister Leo Varadka said he supported the bid of Ukraine, Moldova and the Western Balkans to join the European Union as that would enforce security in the bloc.